And we're live. Uh, welcome to tonight's Bio Devils podcast. Uh, we have a lot of different guests tonight, and uh, we're just gonna get right into it. So why don't you introduce yourself, Brandon? We'll work our way from there. Hello, everybody. This is Savage Magic Five Hundred Four, the resident savage here in Bio Devils, and glad to be back. Alrighty. And then up next, we have Koss. Where can we find you? Or, where I mean, can not find where, where we can find you, please introduce yourself. That's outros are later. I don't know why. I said yeah, that. you're already ending it with me. Wow, yeah, Jesus I'm Christ! So, sorry. <laughs> uh, a little fast yeah. there, Dom. Yeah, a little, <laughs> getting ahead of myself tonight. All right. Um, hey, my Ross, it's Troy 101 here. Glad to be back on Bio Devil Podcast. Kind of drop in and drop out randomly. Yep. Um, and then Kaneki, where can we find you? Tokyo. Bull. Oh, you can find me at the Google World Order as on Twitter as Skype froze for me. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> Kaneki, hey, you know your mic was kind of quiet too. If you're still in here. That oh, that's a great yeah, introduction. Cool. Greatest introduction ever. <laughs> on Skype. Damn, this is why Discord is the master race, my good right. son. Right. Yeah. Then, free uh, shout out to Discord. And then where can we find you, Ren? Uh, I did not find you. Find... I did it again. Dom, <laughs> you've done that. Man, you've got to do it again. Dom, Dom. <laughs> I need to wake up. Okay, please introduce <laughs> yourself. <laughs> okay, uh, my name is Renegade Operative, and uh, Dom, I, I don't know what you're smoking, but I'll have some of that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Hold on, just let me restart my. I swear to God, if I get the same question, I'm slapping you. <laughs> and uh, James, I can find you. Yes. We're... <laughs> Please introduce yourself. There we go. How's it going? As you can see, Dom is hot as a kite. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> jokes aside, uh, why don't we get right into this document? So um. <laughs> so we'll have uh, James read off any one of these. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be in order, guys. So uh, just pick one and we'll just go from there. Actually, can I say something first? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Hey, Dom, it's called podcast, not podcast. I don't know why you've been smoking. <laughs> <laughs> right. Go so, on. So, uh, James, go ahead and uh, read off one of the questions and we'll just go from there. Uh, I'll do the one that I found. Uh, apparently, former Ubisoft motion picture CEO opening movie studio dedicated to adapting video games, aka making movies off of video games as their primary thing. Hmm. Well, uh, this wouldn't be surprising, uh, given that they they were talking about doing a, um, you know, a division movie, even though that the um, Assassin's Creed movie hadn't even come out yet. Uh, I don't even want that movie to suck. I'm just gonna, just gonna, you know, call it right there since it's Ubisoft. Mm. Um, as far as uh, this is concerned, uh, what do you think about this, uh, Koss? Um, I just hope we don't get a Division movie because oh, well, it's already in the works. Uh, a little too late for that. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can find me at Koss Room 101. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> um, it depends how they do it. Like, if you're gonna have maybe since they didn't make a game of like Assassin's Creed Japan, make, maybe they can make a movie. Could be decent. You see some ninjas or something, but I don't know. Like, usually turning games or anime into movie hasn't gone well. No. So, yeah, I have not seen the Dragon Ball movie sucked. The Assassin's Creed the first one actually. Movie, well, Spider-Man actually did pretty well, except for Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 1 and 2 on the PS2 were actually good. They were based off the movies, partially. It's because Marvel is a movie. Like, it was first a movie. Yeah. Well, first, but it, it main work is movie, so, yeah. Same goes for Batman. They're yeah. like comics, so, yeah, they can pull it off. But Ubisoft, they can't even pull making games off anymore, so. No. <laughs> So yeah. I think they have like one or two development teams that make uh, semi decent games, and then uh, the rest just kind of, you know, throw their minds out of the windows. Um, so, does anybody else have anything to say before we move on? Uh, maybe Ren? 
Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how this is gonna play out. I guess maybe they have this big studio, uh, Ubisoft Film Studios, so they could probably do something with some of these franchises. I am. More importantly, I want to see stuff like Splinter Cell, but again, it depends on the quality. I am very indifferent on Assassin's Creed because I don't know how that's going to turn out, to be honest. It looks weird to me how they have the robotic arm for the Animus now and all these other changes, so I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping that is good, but I am saving my reservations because, again, this is Ubisoft. Uh, some of their games are a bit finicky, and some of their movies... Yeah, they're not so great. <clears throat> All right. If uh, they do anything was, that's yeah. Japanese related, uh, everyone then wants Japanese that, I, AC, but no, no, they no. Don't I mean, if they, us. if they, um, you know how like they did ports in the past for like Japanese companies like Capcom and stuff. What if they got licensed to do like Japanese video games into movies? That would be terrible. Ah, uh, I that's don't think. That's one thing I'm scared of. Yeah. Wasn't it an article long ago saying why they never put AC in Japan, or am I mistaken? There, um, there was an article... too common. Yeah, it was, um, the article was that, or it was an interview, rather, um, that Alex Hutchinson, and I think he's a former employee of uh, Ubisoft now, um... <laughs> had stated that, like, fans don't know what, what um, or fans come up with the most boring uh, settings, right? They always suggest, like, World War II, Egypt, and, uh, you know, Japan, like, feudal Japan. So, um, and so they decide, you know, they were just like, oh, well, those are too uncommon. Then a few years afterwards, I think about two or three years after he said that, because uh, this was around the time when uh, AC3 was in development, if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, Ubisoft, uh, or not even Ubisoft, but it was rumored that Ubisoft was working on a, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed set in Egypt. So, you know, that that's where that kind of uh, comes into play. They really need to break the mold because they can do so many innovative things in other settings that people actually want as opposed to saying, oh, it's been done to death. I mean, yeah, some of these settings has been done to death, but you still can innovate in terms of gameplay. So I don't know why they don't just do that. Same for the movies. Um, may I add something about this? Koss, uh, you're so kind of quiet. Or, no, Kaneki, you're kind of quiet. Your mic is, like, really low. <laughs> Still? Mm hmm. Yeah, you're like really low. Rip. Mm. Is it fixed now? No, still low. Oh, well, wow. Uh, can I go real quick since yeah. Nick is fixing his mic? Yeah, go for it. Well, still is Renegade right brought up the Spider Cell movie idea. I just immediately thought of that snowboarding game that the Splinter Cell um, team is making. So why not make a um, snowboarding movie? <laughs> you mean Steep? <laughs> yep, Steep. Steep the movie. I know. It could happen. Yeah, it, it, could, do it. it could have an audience for some people out there, but yeah, I don't know. It. They probably will. This sounds like it'll have as much of an audience as that FIFA game having a story. Ugh. Story mode? What's that? You didn't see it on, uh, what was it? No, story mode. What is that? I haven't heard of oh. it before. Oh, funny. Funny. <laughs> I take it that Kineki's mic is ripped, so I guess we can, um, uh, if you type it out, I'll try to, you know, bring up what you were trying to say. Uh... <laughs> Ubisoft can suck my Hispanic cock. <laughs> okay, then we're off to a great start. Right. <laughs> Kyle's meals. Let's continue, please. So, uh, Ren, why don't we have you read off the next question? Uh, hold on. I have to open this. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's number two. Square Enix is having eight to four handle the localization for near Automata. What are your thoughts on this? Also, have you played any of the games they've localized in the past? 
So you want me to keep going? Yeah. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna read off some of the bullets uh, that we have. Um. No, no, I think I'm good. Well, other than the fact that there's uh, concepts and ideas that only really the Japanese audience will understand. Also, the localization team really went in and made it so the English native speakers will really enjoy the game. Um, it seems like, yeah, that is a good thing because um, a lot of companies, they don't localize a lot of games from what I've seen. Like, they either take the lazy route and say you got to use... Um, the imported versions to order in order to really get that game. So mm. I, I don't know. It's like it's good that they're doing this. It's good that we don't have to import this because you know some imports cost a lot of money. Um, and at the same time, I, I'm really looking forward to near Automata as well. So it's good that they're doing that. Are they doing any English dubbing or are they doing just subs? Uh, I think they're gonna do the English dub because if you go by like some of the stuff that they uh, localized in the past, they did the the original Nier. They also did uh, Dragon Guard Three and uh, Azure Striker. Um, so. Okay, I played Azure Striker and that was really good localized. Um, the only thing was it didn't have English dubs. It only had the Japanese voices, but the English sub. So uh, it was pretty good. So I'm looking forward to it. At least they give you the option to still have those voices in place. So uh, variety is good. Options are good. I know a lot of people were um, s somewhat upset with uh, the original Nier uh, because they completely like changed the character design and the story point. Um, mm -hmm. because the Japanese version, from my understanding, um, it was supposed to be about the, uh, supposed to be two siblings, uh, rather mm -hmm. than a father and daughter. Uh, so they, that's what it was changed to in the uh, localization where it's just a father trying to, uh, you know, uh, take care of stuff. I think for this is for the better. Cause all you need to know is that there's a badass chick and she likes cutting the shit out of people. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's really all you need to know. I, yeah, I don't think they can, um, this, there's not too much that they can really change, um, I hope it doesn't go into, like, crazy change. Especially not with Platinum. Mm -hmm. Is Kamiya directing anything about Nier? No, uh, I don't the, think so. Uh, it's the MGR director. Thanks. Oh, oh, they're in good hands. They're fine. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, you know. It's Bias just, is real. So I, I think if if anything, because um, I know a lot of people like the uh, Dragon Guard three dub, so uh, you know maybe that'll uh, it'll be something similar to that. To that, so uh, we'll see. Uh, does anybody else have anything to add? Mm. Don't censor it. Nope. Uh, Don't get it. I'm, I doubt yeah. it. You just want to see that waifu ass. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Yeah, no, the goal of yeah. I, I forget the the character's name with the long hair, but she's so waifu tier. I have to agree with Dom for once. She looks she's like a, a female riding. Female riding. Exactly. Is she a robot? Yeah, looks they're, like they're all robots. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Brandon, why don't uh, we have you read off the next one? Okay, since you asked nicely. No. Okay, there you go. Falcon, I can slip it. Alright, there we go. Uh, which one should I? No, I'll do a small topic. Uh, no, never mind. Never mind. Uh, uh a developer may have leaked um leaked news of Left 4 Dead 3's development. What are your thoughts on this news? Uh, Valve can count to three. Yeah, that's what I said. Let on a TCP podcast, they can count. <laughs> that's blasphemy. <laughs> they can't count. Everything ends in a two for them. Yeah, episode one, episode two, half. Life too, remember? Remember that? I mean, if they're finally saying fuck it, we're gonna make more than two sequels to a series, I mean, good. Uh, it was skip four. Going. Skip three, go to four. That would be a troll move. <laughs> yeah. But. Um, I've played both Left 4 Dead... Alright, cool. Um, yeah, I've played uh, both um, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 a little bit. Um... They're all right for what they are, but I don't think that, you know, it it was, like, anything spectacular or anything like that. Um, but if it's getting a sequel, then I guess, you know, the fans have something to look forward to. I'm a dick. <laughs> um, Kaneki, you, you said you think you fixed your mic? 
Oh, still rip. Can y'all hear me clearly now? Uh, yeah. you're still quiet, though. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, it's better now. Yeah, that was good. Well, I don't like yelling, though. Uh, your current voice will do. So I, I Everyone guess just... just be really quiet. Yeah. No! <laughs> so, uh, Kaneki, you're, uh, gonna say? I hear you, RE5. Alright, no one else uh, is adding on to the topic because. No, uh. Just re were you gonna say anything about it or. No, I was gonna talk about the next small topic. Alright, uh, yeah, go ahead uh, if you wanna cover it. In the new King of Fighters 14 trailer, apparently the new team is called New Mexico, or just Mexico. And Angel's, one of her final desperation moves is. Yeah. Dom's favorite move, probably in the entire game. Mine too. <laughs> yeah. And that's where, she, when she's about to end her combo, she smothers her opponent's face in her breast. Now, what is your guys' thoughts on that? Or like Amazing, small... I want to die that way. Women take notes. Hashtag nonsense. Or... You, you can kill me this way, it's okay. I'll die hey, a Cap happy man. Hey, Cap oh god, a repeat of TCP podcast, emergency call, take two. <laughs> 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 all, all I have to say, all I'm gonna say is women take notes. Okay, hold up. Is, is there a link of this? Is this like screenshots or is it actually a movie? Uh, Team Mexico for King of Fighters is the one you're looking I, for. I think it's a video. It's actually a video, yeah. It's a video. I think that's I think that's what it's called though. It's Team Mexico comes yeah, to King of okay. Fighters or something yeah, like I'll that. I'll link it. Oh Jesus Christ. I, King of Fighters just got inter interesting for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love KOF. Uh, it, it's good to see also the game has a lot of content. Uh, and it's going to have like pretty much the full package at launch. So I'm looking forward to it, honestly. We're going to have more did you KOF guys see news that? soon. Yeah, it, there's more KOF news. Is it in the document what we saw last night? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's in the document because uh, Brandon edited that last night. Wait, uh, what happened? Oh, about the uh, new character that's coming to uh, DOA? Oh, you mean my? Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll talk about that uh, um, probably after this. Or actually, um, uh, why don't uh, we have... We can segue into it. Yeah, we can segue into it. So uh, why don't we have uh, cost read off number nine? If uh, you have the document open. Wrong number nine? Yeah. Damn it, I wanted to do number 14, but okay. No, 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 no. just... Uh, we'll, we'll do that later, but... Uh, yeah, no, number nine. Okay. All right, my Shiranui is mm -hmm. now a fighter in DOA five last round. Um, it will be also it will also be receiving attack on Titan costume plus stage along with a fifth season pass. Fifth season pass. Okay, what are your <laughs> thoughts on my? Yeah, the, the, even fifth season pass kind of throw me off there. Uh, what are your thoughts on my making it? <clears throat> and, and what are your thoughts on guest stars in fighting games in general? Also, how do you feel about the? The other DLCs along with the another season pass. No, 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 no more season pass. Yeah, they are way the too expensive. They are fucking expensive. Like the last time I looked uh, for all the DLC content on Steam, it was about roughly I think one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, all their stuff for everything. No, this is my like all their season pass. That shit must be like three hundred dollars. <laughs> Actually, if you go on the PSN store, it's probably more than one hundred fifty now. Well, I was looking at a few DLC packs, but I'm pretty sure um, all of them put together that they, they might be like three hundred. Yep. My problem with the um, with Koei Tecmo as a company now um, is that like as far as the way that they handle DLC. Uh, like, like it's kind of spilled over into their other games, too. It's like, you'll see that a lot of their um, characters that get DLC costumes and stuff like that, it's usually the, the female cast. Um, and it's not a bad thing that they get, like, DLC costumes, but it's, like, the amount of costumes that they get. And, you know, in DOA's case, it's even worse because you have to... Well, you don't have to, but you have the uh, season passes. And... You know, one season pass, okay, fine, whatever. It just all really depends on how much it costs. But five? Five season passes? 
I don't think there's any other game that has that many season passes. I, yeah, I really don't think any other game has that many season passes. Um, the one game that I think could potentially have multiple season passes in the future uh, would be Rainbow Six Siege, but uh, that's because Ubisoft has plans to do like yearly content for that game. Um, so you know the the season passes will be you know more uh, more akin for each particular year that they're supporting the game, the that particular game. Um, so it, it kind of makes sense. And plus, in that in that game's defense, it's not almost a hundred dollars per season pass. Um, so you know, I, I I think season passes are fucking stupid, especially in Koei Tecmo's uh, case. Season passes uh, die along with online passes. It's hard to. Well, online passes are already dead. Yeah, they should dollar with them. Thank God. <sighs> so, does anybody else have anything to add? Uh, maybe Kaneki, because I know you really like uh, King of Fighters. So, I mean, all they had to do, all right. Even though you don't have to buy it, uh, I really don't like the uh, they adding. Are they adding like Attack on Titans in terms of costumes or skins? Cost it's costumes for the characters, um, and a stage, and, and a stage. All this animal in one area, man, make me crazy. <laughs> well, I probably won't like the stage because I have a uh, full horrible experience with the, the anime Attack on Titan. Like all well, they, they really were... showed off with the stage is that you can like knock your opponent into the fucking Titan and that's about it. That's really the only hazard to the stage. So you know. It, uh, I hear, I hear a gameplay in the background. Oh, uh, Koss, you might want to mute yourself whenever. Uh... Oh, it, did. it was like a one. I don't know how the hell did you guys hear it? Oh. I couldn't hear it. Uh, well, apologies for that. No, that's all right. Nah, fuck you. Stop shooting the genie. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, uh, I, I think we're good on this topic though. So I'll I'll take on the next topic. Um, so for number, we'll do um, we'll do number four, I think, because I think that one's pretty interesting. Adam Boys, the Sony C Sony's VP, uh, leaves to return to game development. With him leaving, do you think he'd continue to work with Sony under their game development uh, division, or do you think he'll be working for another development studio? Uh, so, if um, he's really, oh, go ahead. If he's really loyal, then I can see him just um, just being a being someone under their own the development team at Sony. Instead, just going to the development team. Unless he makes his own development team, that's one thing. But no, I don't know yet. Yeah, I think that him leaving, uh, it depends. Like, he probably still has a good relationship with Sony, so he probably still has some uh, connections there, so to speak. Uh, and I think him going into game development is a great idea because, uh, first off, I mean, is him exploring new opportunities, is him creating probably new IPs. And it means more games for the gamer. So, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what he does. But as a person, I don't know him that much outside of the fact that he totally punked Microsoft. That was that was fucking great. <laughs> I have to say. So, Good in my book, then. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what about you, James? Do you have any uh, thoughts on this? Um. Did he say who he's working for? No. No. Mm, that's the thing I'm most curious about is who he's going to be with. Um, Other than that, though, I think it's good that he's getting out into game development. We definitely need more gaming-focused adults, I guess, for that stuff, because we're starting to run out of them nowadays. I think uh, maybe the best idea is to go independent. Everyone's doing it these days. I know it's hard, but uh, Kojima did it, so... To be That's fair, though, Kojima has a gigantic legendary legacy in the gaming industry already, so him... Going solo, in my opinion, was probably pretty easy since he already had a dedicated team behind him. Well, that and, and the fact that Sony's to... backing him. Yeah, I was so... going to say, like, it, even if it wasn't Sony backing him, you know, you have the entire industry just ready to back him because they just... And like the gamers. Does. Yep. 
So, um, does anybody else have anything to add to this, or uh, are we good to move on? We good. Alrighty, so, uh, James, why don't we have you read off the next topic? Uh, let's see. Platinum Games is interested in owning the IPs they worked on in the past. What IPs do you think Platinum should have the rights to? Uh, obviously, in my opinion, they should have Bayonetta. Mm-hmm. Um, what else have they done? And, do they own Anarchy Range or does Sega own it? Sega um, owns anything that he worked with. Oh, that shit. So, Man. Uh, yeah, uh, Bandit and Anarchy, they need those. Uh, the thing that she owns is everything they worked on with Sega. Everything. Because um, all the games that um, they published by Sega, um, Sega owns those IPs. So they should own whatever Sega has published for them. I would agree oh. to that. Uh, they also did uh, Vanquish, right? So that would be yeah. yes. interesting to see like if they were to pick up the IP again and do a sequel for it. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that uh, outside of that, I would have to agree that Bayonetta would be one. Um, what else have they done that... Uh, Anarchy, owned by Sega. Well, no. Um, I, I'm I'm thinking of like uh, stuff we haven't mentioned, like, that they could technically own the rights to, maybe. Uh, nothing else besides the, um, software work with Sega. No, that's, that's, um, Transformers is licensed. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> any licensed games, they cannot own, obviously, because it's Same licensed. with, uh, Teenage uh, Mutant Turtles, right? Yeah, Same Mora, Turtles, Transformers, Metal Gear Rising, uh, and something yeah. else. Oh, that's a fucking shame. I would love yeah. to see MGR2, to be honest. Thank you, fucking Jesus! Someone else that says the same thing. Yeah, yeah everybody's saying the same yeah, thing. Everybody yeah. wants an MGR two, but nobody wants Konami to do it. Konami. <laughs> Who? <laughs> so, uh, what about you, Ren? Are there any uh, particular IPs that you'd like to see them maybe uh, own? Um, uh, it well, it, I know they don't own this, but like I said, uh, God Hand too. If they got their hands on that, that's that's like over. And MGR2 as well. That's the only two things I really, really want from Platinum. I haven't played a lot of uh, Platinum games. I kind of want to go back and play Okami and Beautiful Joe. But that'll be in the future. Uh, definitely Beautiful Joe as well. Because it seems, from the gameplay, it seems pretty good. And they have that whole Devil May Cry reference. So I'm going to get into that pretty soon. Mm. So... Uh... Are there any final thoughts before we move on to the next question? No. All right. So, uh, Brandon, why don't we have you read off the next question? And uh, yeah. All right. For Kazi, um, question fourteen. Killer Instinct may have more characters from Halo, Perfect Dark, and Crackdown, according to a survey. What characters would you like to see in Ki? Mm. None of the above. I. <laughs> They're doing like MK you know, where probably well, either... this thing Kaneki, um this is Microsoft IP, so it makes all Microsoft crazy. mascots. But it's, but it's stupid though. Yeah. Not it really. Little, it, I think it is kind of ridiculous now, but yeah, I get, I kind of get why they're doing it. Yeah, because it's their stuff, so why not? You know, expose it more. Cause they're Man, that, they do not have a lot of IPs though. <laughs> Looking at yeah, this that is true. The only <laughs> DLC I would try from them is the Rashid character. That one makes sense. I don't mind them. Um, what was that guy's name again? Arbiter was a good um character. Um, they added in. Just wait till Master Chief will come in. Yeah, and then he'll be broken. <laughs> like like Akuma in Tekken Seven. Oh my God. Fucking yeah. Top. And Shay can't beat the king. Yeah, I, I, man, Microsoft does not have any good exclusive characters I can think of right now, so I'm going to have to sort of pass this up. I mean, it's cool that they're doing this because they have to pull from somewhere if they're going to, you know, gravitate KI. Yo, I wouldn't be surprised uh, at that. What? Hmm? If they had PC mascots, like someone from WoW, like World of Warcraft and shit, I would not be surprised considering how much they push the PC now. What if, I don't um... Know. And I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, what if they uh, decided to kind of go back to like some of their, like some of the older IPs that were on the console, like uh, on the uh, the original Xbox, um, 
and just kind of pull from like those old franchises. Oh, I know it'd be cool. What? Pac Man. They should have a uh, Fable. Ma- they should have the main character from Fable One as a mascot. That would be that cool. or um, Phantom Dust characters. Yeah, like something like that. Or um, I was actually gonna think like um, Death from Otagi, because uh, you do play as play as him. That's not Microsoft own though. So true, it it isn't. But I think that that would be kind of interesting to like. Um, you know, pull different characters from different IPs that were, you know, on the uh, platform. I mean, you never know. Yeah. It, it, crossover characters can always, like, happen. Um, it all, just all depends on, uh, you know, who's willing to pay enough money for it. And they're not going to. <laughs> uh, I will say maybe the best resource for them is Rare, because Rare has a lot of unique and cool IPs, and they own Rare, so they could use rare? maybe some yeah rare. You mean dead? Well, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, they, they kind of are dead, but you know that's besides the point. I mean, so I think they could pull from there and maybe get some cool characters in there. I don't know. They did get the Battle Tools guy, so that's yeah. something at least. That's what I like though. <clears throat> that was about it. Mm. Or maybe they should add Conquer. Mm. You think they would do that? Man, his hitbox would be fucking weird. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they'll get Mike from the ground. Yeah, they'll get Microsoft Glass Conquer. I hope you all want that. No. Get Yoda. Get Yoda. Actually, I got one person. uh, Actually, three. But there was this game from Sega. I think it was like uh, Raging Roads or Road Rage or something like that. Um, It was these three characters that went in the street. It was Axel, Adam, and. Laser oh, or something? Uh, Streets of Street Rage. Yes, yeah, Streets. Uh, there you go. Like, I don't, I don't know who owns that. Sega. But... Sega. 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 <laughs> yeah, never mind. Throw that idea out. Fuck you, Sega. <laughs> you let you want stop to owning be... things you don't like. <laughs> yeah, like what, Sega always just you know, just fucking keep making Sonic, man. You can't handle fighting. Game characters at all? You can't handle anything. It's not. Well, uh, that's kind or, of uh, that's kind related. of diverging. So, um, you know, uh, why don't we just kind of move on? Um, <laughs> I think we've covered that particular topic well uh, long enough. So, um, uh, I will take on the next question. Um, Berserk is getting some new bonus costumes. A release date for the Japanese version has been confirmed, with a worldwide release date to be announced at a later date. While the worldwide release date will exclude, uh, or the worldwide release will exclude the PS3 version, a, a PC version will be added. However, um, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, and some of the um, bullet points, like the uh, Japanese release date, will be on September 23rd. Uh, and some of the bonus costumes include like uh, Golden Griffith and a uh, Guts the White Swordsman variation so things like that are, are being added into the game so uh, what are your guys' thoughts I got nothing on that cool right no yeah that's cool we got white guts oh, yeah and golden <laughs> <laughs> well like I, I don't know if you've seen like some of the images but like um, guts's hair ends up becoming white in that uh, he's that silver variation. and Griffith is gold there you go Griffith is a woman. Silver and gold. <laughs> he's a woman now, with all that gold on. Oh, he's a something. <laughs> so, um, just out of curiosity, um, you know, since uh, Koei Tecmo likes to release these games uh, within like six months to a year apart, uh, because it's a Musou game, uh, when do you think we can expect a... Um, an announcement for uh, the lo- the Western version of uh, this particular game. Uh, um, end of the year or next year? End of the year, next year, just like Brandon said. Uh, I definitely don't expect it to be anytime soon, as in the frame of like a few months. So, mm. uh, I, I would expect they take a little bit longer with that. All right. So, uh, does anybody else have anything to add? Nope. nope. Alrighty, so uh, why don't we have uh, Brandon take on the next question? Alright. Blizzard 
Blizzard to work on trolling and winning teams. Any thoughts on this? Uh, you gotta be specific about that one. Um, I think James knows a little bit more about this than I do. Um, but all I know is that it's kind of linked into the, uh... Wait, what question is this? This is for Blizzard, uh... Stopping like trolling, th uh, trolling. Oh, you should have said Overwatch. Uh, regardless, it's it's Blizzard, but uh, it's all they're do you know, the trolling is just uh, people leaving, and it screws with the uh, probability winning for competitive because they have this weird thing. Mm -hmm. It's not that big a deal, but yeah, it's something they're trying to fix. Where I think if now if someone leaves. Um, the probability stays where it was when the match started, so that's about it. Okay. Um, but, I mean, I guess that's alright. Um, you know, that's, if that's a, being a problem, then, you know, they should fix it. But they're still not gonna fix fucking dupe teams, which is a huge-ass problem. I thought they made it so you can only be two with the same character in, uh, competitive. In competitive, but not in, um, not Public. in the, uh, casual. <laughs> They just need to get rid of dupes in general. It's fucking stupid. Hmm. Uh, Koss, you were trying to say something? Oh, no, I was just gonna help you out with that sentence. You were trying to say public games, but... Yeah, yeah that's uh, yeah, it is what it is. Also, uh, Reaper's Mask the Corrector. <laughs> so, I, I guess that was a little bit more of uh, smaller news, so uh, why don't we have Ren read off the next question? Uh, let me... Open this up. There we go. Oh, okay. So I have one. Uh, number thirteen. Um, DOA X three is getting VR support on October the thirteenth. Is anyone ready to fap? I mean, play with the ladies in VR. Uh, <laughs> that was a okay question then, from Brandon. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like a dumb question. That was actually a question from Brandon. <laughs> yeah, because okay. someone will be curious about this one. I, I don't want to be like a Japanese male having like a beanbag to his balls looking at these ladies, so I'll pass on <laughs> vibrating notions. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, the VR ladies, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, of course, it was inevitable. Uh, I think that maybe they're probably gonna put in a mode where they get interactive with you. Uh, uh so. So the entire world will be uh, getting the lotion out. So uh, that's what I think on it. It's it's fan service, but it's bound to happen. It was inevitable. Yeah, I know James is looking forward to that VR support. What are you talking about? Man, you I, and your I Neil Tengu, you. man. I ain't you. Also, yes, you're right about that one though. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's. At least he's admitting it. So um. Here, I'll, I'll take on some of these smaller topics just to get them out of the way. Um, there's a Halo Wars 2 uh, new cinematic trailer that came out recently. Uh, there's a, f a fan created a um, NES-style manual for the Resident Evil 7 Biohazard beginning hour demo. Uh, you know, it's a small little like fan creation. Kind of interesting how they put work into it. Um <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the Warriors PS2 game is now on the PlayStation Store for the PS4, so if anybody uh, is interested in trying that out, that's there. Uh, so that's part of the PS2, PS4 list. Um, Dark Souls 3 patch nerfs one of the more powerful weapons in the game. So um, there's that. There's a, a couple of other things in that patch. So the patch Can I take a main question? Uh, yeah, in a sec. I just want to get these uh, smaller topics out of the way. Um, and then, uh, last but not least, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider for PS4 is still on track for the 2016 release. Any thoughts on that? Uh, too little, too late, in my opinion. The game's that, hype is already come and gone. I, I was about to say the same thing. It's too little, too late. Well, I put it, I put it this way. If they want to make money, then sure, bring it over to PS4. Um, not to touch back on stuff, but would Laura Croft be a good character in Gaia? <laughs> uh, well, maybe classic Laura would work, but not new one, new mopey, stupid one. Cause I'm looking at like zoning characters, and I only see Glacius. He's the one that really stands out as a zone. So I'm guessing someone with a gun, like a good ass gun, could make a difference. 
Maybe we have two zoners like Glacius. I thought but the only other zoner was um, Cinder. Cinder? Cinder is not a zoner. Oh, no, he's, he's not. not. He's I, I can tell you he's not. He's the Marvel character. Oh, everybody's a Marvel character in that game. <laughs> he's the one that you abuse tactics with and win. But anyways, sorry, I got off top. Yeah, Brandon ain't wrong about that part. Um... Yeah, I would have to agree with uh, James and uh, Ren. Yeah, it's kind of too late for it, but, uh, you know, a lot of people forgot that it was even coming to PS4. Uh, I did. Like, I remember specifically Gaming Anarchist made a video saying that it was going to come to PS4. It was not an Xbox One exclusive. And then when the news broke out about it, it was like, you know, didn't you talk about this already? And it's like, people seem to have forgotten that it, you know, it was never an Xbox One exclusive to begin with. It was just a well, timed it was exclusive. A timed exclusive, timed exclusive yeah. not a, not a, you know, console exclusive or platform exclusive. Uh, I don't mean to diverge, but I have a bit of a add on to that. What do you guys think of the Xbox exclusive games? being Windows 10 integrated, do you think there's any reason to still get an Xbox One anymore or not? No. no. Um, okay, it depends. If you don't want or have the money to get a good PC, then yeah, that's like an alternative option. But other yes. than that, no. Pretty yeah. much if you're broke, get an Xbox. If you're not, obviously get a PC. If you're yeah. on welfare, get an Xbox. If you're on white collar, get a PS4 or a PC. Because I definitely think that the Xbox is just not the home for exclusive games anymore at all. Nope. The only thing um, I like about Xbox is their controllers, other than that. Yeah, you care. feel me? You already know all the breakfast essentials. On that note nigga, of yo, the whole money thing, yo, what the, since then, yo, the, the fuck, new, yo, what is it called, yo, Scorpion the Project? Box, that's gonna, yeah, that's going to be a hell of money, too. So, is it worth getting an Xbox, like, period? Because, um,. Since the PC is going to be like, if a good PC ends up being around a K, maybe maybe even two if you want to go overkill with it. And the the stuff they had on Scorpion was, you know, really expensive. They don't even have it on some PCs, or especially not PS4. So if the price range is going to be that little, then why are they even making like exclusives like that? There's no reason to buy a Xbox anymore. Just buy a PC. Because regardless, you're going to pay a lot for having a good quality game. I mean, console. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, does anybody else have anything to add? Or uh, are we good to move on? I agree with Xbox Austin. Xbox sucks. <laughs> <laughs> is this going to become an Xbox One roast again? Mm. When is it not? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... James, we'll have uh, you read off the next one since... Uh, you know, you did ask. Alright, uh, number 10. In recent reports, RE5 for the PS4 and Xbox editions has frame rate issues and game breaking bugs. What are your thoughts and on this and how do you, do you fear for RE4 all the same problems? Uh, it's Capcom, so you know, none of this surprised me because Capcom's fucking lazy. Is but, That's just what this sounds like to me. To be that fair, like didn't 6 bother didn't have it. problems like this. Yeah, 6 is actually locked at 60. Well, I don't know how the hell they screwed up 5. They probably rushed it. The arguably better game. It is a better game. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, but, I mean, I've seen it. It's more consistent on the PlayStation 4 than the Xbox One. The Xbox One really That's not is. a surprise. Um, although, when you compare it to the Xbox 360 version, it's at a stable 30. Um, yeah, the 360 is good, but... You know, it, you know what's made me laugh? If they screw up RE4 being not, you know, can't hold a consistent 60 on a PS2 game, that's pretty pathetic if that happens. Yeah, I would have I to. Just, I don't even know what to say to Capcom at that point, besides <laughs> find a new job. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they got to no, port, port in old games to be to have a stable frame rate. It's kind of a little bit harder because it's old technology. Just saying. Yeah, but they've done it for the PC. I know they've done it. I, I'm not telling. I'm not saying that they should screw it up on this one, but I'm just saying overall, it's it's kind of harder because it's really old. Old oh, architect, so it's kind of hard to transfer to. So mm -hmm. wait, didn't did the Wii ever go sixty? Uh, I don't know actually. I don't know. All I know is they've ported it several times. So I don't see why now it's going to be an issue. Several. 
So, so, yeah, seven several times. I thought it was like ten. No, it's not that many yet. They have mobile and consoles. Give it, give it another two years. Jesus. So, um, Ren, do you have any thoughts on the uh, frame rate? Um, no, not really. Other than the fact that it's it's a little bit disappointing, but again, I have the PC version, so I'm not too fussed about it. Mm-hmm. I could just play that version if I want to go back and play RE5, or if I want to go back and play it at you know stable 30 FPS. I'll go back and play the PS3 version with friends. Uh, so it really doesn't bother me that much. Uh, but it is dis- it, it is disappointing to see them sort of mess that up. Hopefully it gets patched. That's the best I can say. Because uh, I really liked RE5, and it's a shame <laughs> to see it has like a uh, not so stellar port. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I think we've covered that topic enough, so, uh, Kaneki, why don't we have you read off the next question? Kaneki? Oh, uh, oh I'm here. Okay, don't worry. And dead. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna read this question, and y'all know where I'm going with you. Street Fighter V glitch gives Ibuki invincibility after missed air throw. How long do you think it will take Capcom to patch the game if they patch this glitch at all? They are in the before the Evo thing. Hold on, one at a time. One at a time. Uh, uh, Brandon, you <laughs> go first because uh, I think you were you were starting first. Oh, I just saying like they already confirmed it. They are going to patch it before Evo or whatever. Yeah, I said the same thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I had heard that it was going to get patched. I haven't seen any uh, source, sources on that, but that article might have been updated already in terms of, uh, you know, what's going on with that. Um, hopefully, people don't have to wait for that patch too long. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, this character is also greenlit for Evo. So, um, yeah, hopefully that patch comes out before then. Uh, so, you know, we can move on. I don't think that was, uh, unless if anybody else has anything to say on that. Um, no. To be honest, uh, with Street Fighter, they've always been quick to fix stuff. Ex- uh, ex- excluding Omega mode in Street Fighter 4. That one, they just... Yeah, they're, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. they're quick to censor too. Infinite, <laughs> infinite right. kick. Uh, so I will take on number five. Uh, Demon Souls remake or remaster is possible. However, another developer would have to handle it. If if you've played the original Demon Souls, is there anything you'd like to see in this remaster? Uh, and just to clarify, the remaster isn't confirmed. It's just um, it, it it's um, open. You know, like the the discussion for it is open over at FromSoft, and they're open to the idea. Um, but anyways. Um, is there anything you'd like to see in the remaster? Uh, also, what are what are your thoughts on the possibility possibility of a Demon Souls remaster? Uh, I would like to fuck it to happen. If they're going to like add no things, why not just add probably even better mechanics and what to make it more up to date with the Dark Souls games? Can they make it? Can they make World Tendency not stupid? <laughs> can we? Uh, can that is not- the most convoluted shit. <laughs> I agree. And do not remove the duplicate because it's got like capital. Brandon just wants his duplicate weed. <laughs> yes. I ain't giving you no more, man. Too high. <laughs> well, um, I will say that as far as um, you know, doing the remaster, uh, I would I would be open to it, uh, especially if it means like. Uh, adding in like the character creation from the later Dark Souls games, um, and adding in some of the better mechanics, uh, and also just kind of updating some things in terms of like visuals and gameplay. So I I think um, it it'll be all right, but they would have to do a lot in order for me to be interested, and not just like a typical HD remaster where you know not much has been changed. Mhm. One hundred percent agree. Hmm. Um, so, does anybody else have anything to add? Oh, that game had co-op, right? Yeah, it had co-op. Yeah, nothing to add. <laughs> Alrighty, so, uh, I'll have, um, I'll have Koss read off one of the last two questions, and, uh, we'll have Ren finish off with the last one. I'm 
searching which one is uh, uh, we have 11 and we have 12 that's, that's oh, okay oh my favorite dragon ball Xenoverse 2 is getting a collector's edition and it comes with a uh, ost master star goku statue and a steel case is anyone picking up the collector's edition uh not <laughs> me because i i haven't played a uh, Xenoverse one so yeah uh i i might try it out but it all depends from what i've seen so far it looks exactly like the first game um so I'm hoping it's not like that, and they add a lot more characters. Also, the fact that they have Dragon Ball Super now, hopefully there are more characters in that from that show as well. So that's what I have to say about it. Also, I haven't you seen know, the collector's edition either, so I have to see how that steel case looks. You know, thanks to Dragon, thanks to Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Future Trunks came back in Super. So, yeah, yeah, and he like has the, the God Mode thing now. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't? He, oh, what the hell does he have the weird blue hair for? Oh, I, I don't that, know. Everyone has a, been asking about it. I'm saying this just because of his mother. Because Boma has blue hair. And his yeah, blue hair looks like yeah, that. So, that could but be. But he has purple hair, though. So, why the blue hair came from? He died. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I know it's diverging, but apparently some people are saying that Toriyama might have um, miscolored it. Because of... Uh, <laughs> Like the current trunks is still he has purple hair, but future trunks has blue hair, so it might have been a miscoloring. Yeah, it has happened with Toriyama. He always messes up. Mm -hmm. GG scrub. Uh, so does anybody <laughs> else have anything to add? Um, I, I might just I'm yeah sorry. go first, go first, go first. All right. Um, I'm just gonna add that I probably won't get it, but I'll probably pre-order it since if you pre-order it, you might. What is it? You play as Black Goku, if I'm not mistaken? Oh, awesome. I'll probably just, yeah, pre-order that. That's about it. Mm. Okay. So, actually, it was good that you went first. About this pre-order thing, I know with Xenoverse, if you pre-order it, you get Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And, and that was the only way you could get that exclusive DLC. And it, the second one's announced, and, you know, the, old, the, the you can still buy it or anything. So what I want for Xenoverse is to not have any exclusive pre-orders or DLCs or anything like that. I agree. Just yeah, no exclusive. If okay, pre-order DLC fine. Six months later you can buy it later, but not permanently just like it's only pre order. Otherwise you can't get it. That's kinda it's I don't know. I don't like that idea. Yeah, because it, um, it comes off as, like, when it comes to, like, and I know this is diverging a little bit, but when you consider, um, like, DLC, like, uh, exclusive stuff, if it stays exclusive, um, it kind of makes some people just, like, some people will be dumb enough to buy multiple copies of the game to, you know, uh, whether it be just to get a sp specific code that's, that was pre-order bonus or, you know, whatever, uh, and, and that's kind of bad. Um, so I think that if you're going to, I think if anything, it should just be labeled as, uh, early access, not exclusive. Uh, so yeah. that way people can have a chance to try it out early before anybody just else. release the demo. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, um, yeah, why don't, um, unless if anybody else has anything to add, uh, we can move on with the last question and we'll have Ren read that off. That's number 11, right? Yep. Speaking of RE4, the release date has been confirmed for August 30th and is getting extra content. Is anyone going to pick this version of Resident Evil 4 up again? Uh, uh yes. No, it's actually not getting extra content. It's oh, it says it's getting extra content here in the document. It must be a typo or mistranslation it, or something. Um, to clarify, the game is not getting extra content. It is just... It stated that it, all the content that you got in the original PS2 version, you're getting again. Um, mm. So, I mean, like the PS3 version of the HD collection? I mean, HD yeah, same, it's same thing. It, yeah, it's the same thing. They didn't add anything new. And, um, you know, I really hate that because it's like, um, you know, when you compare it to RE6 and RE5 and those two re-releases... Re those are somewhat better because there's something new to look forward in those console re-releases. Um, you know, you got, like, your No Mercy, you got Mercenaries, no, uh, Mercenaries United, sorry. Um, you also have, like, for RE6, 
you have all the content from re.net which is like the ex colors and the uh, ps1 style um you know costumes yeah you uh, don't have to play on. bonus games to unlock them now you could just get them by playing yep and um you know on on top of that you get all the dlc for both of those games i would have at least liked for for re force case i would have at least liked if they would have just added in like maybe one new character to mercenaries like uh, they could have easily ported over like claire um considering that uh our mercenaries 3d had her and you do go through the um you know uh village map in that particular game so I, I think they really could have just added in at least one new character or a new costume or something. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they want to just keep RE4 untouched. I mean, it's unfortunate, but maybe that's the way Capcom is thinking about it. Also, uh, everything pretty much had new additions. Even Remake had new costumes. So that is something. And this I do. Is a little easy. Yeah, it's very easy. So I, I don't know why they don't mess with RE4 like at all. Um, Wait, they should at least add like a co-op thing for mercenaries. Yeah, they really should. I wouldn't mind that. Um, the only thing that I'll say about RE4, though, um, really, for me now, like the only reason to own this version of RE4 is if you got the HD version back in the day, but you wanted a physical copy but couldn't afford to import it. This would be, you know, your way of getting your physical copy now. Mm. Right. Yeah, I'm. I'll be getting this little copy. Mm. So, um, is there anything else to add before we end off this podcast? Uh, well, Capcom, good job. This is like my fifth version of RE4. <laughs> fifth. You. I own the PC and PS3 version, so. <laughs> Yeah, I own like two copies of the PS2 version, two copies of the PS3 version, and this will be my last version of that game. Hopefully this will be the last version of the game. Yeah. I played that game too many times to buy it again. I'm kind of past RE4 now. Then it's going to be in VR. Uh, Oh my god. (laughs) Oh yeah. Well, um, well, isn't it you that found the uh, first person mod, uh, James? It was just a PC thing, but I mean, the only way the VR will be fun in that case is if I get to, you know, uh, snap people's necks in first-person view. Or kill Ashley. Or yeah. choke her out, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> anyway, um, I think now is a great time to do some outros, so uh, why don't we start off with uh, Mr. Etchy Hunter James. Where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter at DevHunterJames, uh, twitch.tv slash TheHeroJames, and here on the TCP and BioDevils. Alrighty. Uh, up next we have Brandon. Where can we find you? I'm surprised you didn't screw the outros up. I didn't. I'm actually a lot more awake now. Yeah, why don't you tell us to introduce ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh... You know, it happens. Yeah, you, know, you can follow me at, uh, follow me on Twitter at arcanemagic514. Catch me on TCP and my doubles, and that's it. Alrighty, uh, Kaneki, where can we find you? Kaneki. Oh shit! Kan- oh. Kaneki, you there? <laughs> you're from the grave, motherfucker. Hold on, hold on. You can find me at Google Order on Twitter along, uh, along the same the same name. You can say it said on Twitch. Where I'll be streaming KOF 14 when it comes out. And you can find me under the same name on YouTube where it's spaced out though. But you should be able to find me easily. Okay. Um, uh, we got most of that, but your mic did start to uh, go lower towards the end of that. But we got most of that, so um, yeah. To find this motherfucker a Google Door. There you go. Yep. Um, up next, we have uh, Koss. Where can we find you? Hello, my name is Costa Stroh. I'm glad to be back. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys, damn, Brandon, you laid on that joke. What? You laid on that joke. Anyways, <laughs> you can find me at, at Costa Stroh 101 on Twitter. 101 to Pacific. Like that. And Dark Angel 101 in YouTube. And TCP. Am I, Brandon, actually, am I, am I a member of the TCP or not? Yes. All right, fuck you. Uh, thank you, Ami. 
And then uh, why don't we have the main host of the TCP to, you know, go ahead and tell us where we can find you. Uh, so I gotta introduce that yourself. would be Ren. Okay, you can find me at Fuck You Land. Hey. Uh, you can find me on no seriously. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Rent Operative underscore. You can find me on YouTube at Renegade Operative, and you can find me at the TCP where we will be doing activities. Um, we got a lot of interviews planned and all that jazz. Yeah. And uh, when I get my PS4 fix in about two weeks, I'm gonna be back playing gameplay. So it's gonna He's be gonna awesome. He's gonna be making me play a shit tier game soon. That's pretty oh, much yeah. DOA. Yes, the the umbrella cancer, Fuck umbrella corpse. I gotta, I gotta finish my other video though, the uh, the ORC one. Uh, speaking of which, you guys know where to find me. Um, but if you don't follow no. me already on uh, Twitter, it's BioDevil underscore Dom, just like YouTube. Uh, and on Twitch, it is Dom twenty four nineteen ninety six. Um, you know, you can follow me, see what what's going on. Uh, I usually kind of post about a lot of things, especially like TCP related stuff and just content related stuff. Um, That's cool. <laughs> and and currently I'm working on an ORC video, which I, I've i been kind of, like, um, procrastinating on that one. <laughs> I need to, like, get back and just finish the recordings for that. So, uh, you know, whenever that comes out, uh, that should be sometime by the end of the month, hopefully. Uh, and when that does come out, I'll start working on other things like RE6 and Resident Evil 1, for example. And Umbrella Core, because Run wants to see me suffer. So, uh, yeah. Um, but that said, uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this podcast, and uh, we'll see you guys sometime soon in the near future, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, thanks for stopping by. Bye. Later. I will eat your souls. <laughs> no, no, I'll eat that panda's